Chapter 15, Capital Structure Decisions. The topics in this chapter include overview and a preview of capital structure effects, business versus financial risk, the impact of debt on returns, capital structure theory, evidence, and implications for managers. An example of choosing the optimal capital structure. A preview of capital structure effects. The impact of capital structure on value depends upon the effect of debt on WAC and free cash flow. What is operating leverage and how does it affect a firm's business risk. Operating leverage is the change in EBIT caused by a change in quantity sold. The higher the proportion of fixed costs relative to variable costs, the greater the operating leverage. Operating break-even. The operating break-even point is the fixed asset divided by the price minus the variable cost. Business risk versus financial risk. Business risk, uncertainty in future habit, no pet, or return on invested capital. It depends on business factors such as competition, operating leverage, etc. Financial risk, additional business risk concentrated on common stockholders when financial leverage is used. It depends on the amount of debt and preferred stock financing. Capital structure theory. MM theory, zero taxes, corporate taxes, corporate and personal taxes, trade off theory, signaling has theory, packing zero order theory, debt financing as a manager constraint, windows of opportunity. Miller's theory, corporate and personal taxes. Personal taxes lessen the advantage of corporate debt. Corporate taxes favor debt financing since corporations can deduct interest expenses. Personal taxes favor active financing since no gains is reported until stock is sold and long-term gains are taxed at a lower rate. Trade-off theory. M&M theory ignores bankruptcy or financial distress costs, which increase as more leverage is used. At low leverage levels, tax benefits overweigh bankrupt costs. At high levels, bankruptcy costs overweigh tax benefits. Therefore, an optimal capital structure exists that balances these costs and benefits. Signaling theory. M M assumed that investors and managers have the same information, but Managers often have better information. Thus, they would sell stock if stock is overvalued and sell bonds if the stock is undervalued. Packing order theory. Firms use internally generated funds first because there are no flotation costs and negative signals. 
if more funds are needed, companies then issue debt because it has lower flotation costs than equity and not negative signals. If more funds are needed, firms then issue equity. Market Timing Theory Managers try to time the market when issuing securities. They issue equity when the market is high and after big stock price runs up. They issue debt when the stock market is low and when interest rates are low. Bait and switch. Managers who know this might tell debt holders they are going to invest in one kind of asset and instead invest in riskier assets. This is called bait and switch, and bondholders will require higher interest rates for firms that do this or refuse to do business with them.